I'm going to explain how a condition is inherited in an autosomal dominant way. We each have thousands of genes and each gene is a bit like a recipe for something about us. But health problems can occur if we have a spelling mistake in the gene, a change in the gene that means the recipe or the instruction doesn't work as it should do. We each have two copies of every gene. If people have an autosomal dominantly inherited condition, they have one gene which is completely unchanged and working as it should do. The other copy of the gene has a spelling mistake in it, which means that it's not working as it should do. If a parent is affected with a condition and they have a child, they have a 50-50 chance of passing on the gene which is unchanged, unaffected, and a 50-50 chance of passing on the gene with the gene change in it. That means the child will inherit the condition and may be affected with some of the features. Okay, so I'm going to try and explain autosomal dominant inheritance. Um, we're made up of an, an instruction manual and these are all contained within our genes. Uh, we get one gene from our mum and one gene from our dad. Um, and they, describe, they help us describe every, all of our features that, we're, that, that make up who we are. If we have an abnormality in one gene and, a, and, a, and an otherwise normal other gene, then we can be affected by an autosomal dominant inheritance condition. And when we pass on our genes to our children, we have a 50-50 chance of passing on the affected gene or the unaffected gene. And our children therefore have a 50-50 chance of having the condition.